Hi, beautiful Capricorn. How are you, darlings? Hello. <laughs> I'm here to do your love reading. Look, we've got baby Yoda here. I hope you guys are doing well. You know what? I feel like there is so much going on in the world and it's quite stressful. And to be honest with you, I love reading tarot. It's a thing that it makes me feel calm. And I also recognize the importance of it on a spiritual level, on an energetic level. It's actually, there's something in it that the world needs. It helps us align to the truth to clarity, to positivity, and to love, to dream more because it really is the intention of love and envisioning and dreaming that helps us create. It's, it's the, the, you know, it's the law of attraction. It's the power of manifestation. Capricorn, this is, you know, one of your powerful gifts. And so we're here to read tarot. Okay. I love you Capricorn so much, darlings. Oh my gosh. I'm just, I just feel... I just feel really happy to be here with you Capricorn I just I feel like I don't know I just feel home here guys let's draw you a, let's draw you let's see what's going on for you with love good luck it's good luck I'm loving the green I just felt really cool to put on my Malachi and Moldavite today um, well I've been wearing it for a couple of months abundance it really is a time of transformation. If you're watching this video, you're definitely going through it as well, knowing that you are surrounded by angels, okay, in this time of transformation and good luck coming in. It's sort of, it feels unexplainable. Um, you just sort of feel like spirits on your side, like spirits got your back. Energetically, it's about having patience. There's this storm warning and I hope that it is a storm of romance, Capricorn. Suddenly, I just almost got a little lightheaded, like it almost feels like you've had too much chocolate or something like that. Because it's like you're calm on the inside, but there's all of this going on around you. In a way, Capricorn, it's like this is what's going on in the world, and yet this is the passion that burns bright within you, and yet here you are with patience throughout the entire transform transformative process. It's like you are on the, the path of spirit. You are having faith that Spirit has your back, surrounded by angels. I'm going to get straight into the love messages, Capricorn, and then we're going to draw the tarot. I want you in my life. Someone's working towards the courage to come forward. Somebody has noticed you, Capricorn, and they're just like, this. <laughs> oh, I hope you can forgive me. I dream of starting all over again with you. Okay. And a love is timeless. Noticing that with the clock there as well. There's definitely sort of like pain in the heart chakra. I'm feeling here. It was a situation that was really difficult. I get two separate energies here, Capricorn. Somebody that's noticed you. They want you in their life because they're very attracted to you. So they're sort of like working on that courage of like how to approach you, right? But at the same time, it's like there's this other energy that I feel like, you know, somebody feels the loss of you. They, they recognize that this love is timeless. They just hope that you can forgive them. You know, it's like they dream of starting all over again with you. But at the same time, I'm getting the feeling like they recognize that it's probably just a dream at this stage. There's so much I have to say. I don't know how. I'm trying to look, stop looking at your social media. Oh, every time I get this energy from the past, it's immense, like, block in the heart chakra. And I feel like that it's just, even when you connect with this person, you know, spiritually or in your mind, it's just, it hurts, you know? And I think because there was, like, a lack of clarity or it was just, like, you're really questioning, like, the authenticity of someone. And I feel like they didn't know what to say. And so it just, it's sort of like these emotions are like a storm in itself. Hey, birds. I forgot to cover them. It's like super late here, but they're like, oh, it's, it must be daytime still. She's reading tarot. Hold on, guys. I'm going to put the cover over them so they know it's night. I need them to get some sleep. Good night, sweeties. Good night, Ruffy. I love you. I love you so much. Okay, Capricorn. <sighs> yeah, it's sort of... Yeah. 
I feel like you were very patient in this process, but all you've, you know, been grateful for is this this team of angels supporting you and being able to to face the light, to create your now, to regain your power, your energy, your love, your hope. So important. We're going to draw from the, actually, let's get straight into, well, let's draw from the normal tarot and then we'll get into the passion tarot. The Capricorn. The lovers. Wow. I knew it. I knew that this was going to be a love reading. And I feel like this is exciting for you, Capricorn. You know, it's sort of allowing you to take your mind off of things a little bit. And that's a positive thing. Like I said, you know, coming into this reading, like it's positive. I feel like there's almost this guilt that you have when you focus on love or emotion or doing something you enjoy. And look, life's too short for that, you know? Like, do what you enjoy. You have to stay balanced, though. You do. And, you know, Venus is in Libra right now, so that's really helping, you know, for the next two weeks to find that balance. Maybe that's what you want to focus on, Capricorn, finding that balance of work, because you don't want to focus all your time on a love situation. You've got to focus on projects because you've got to, you know, pour your passion and creativity into projects that you love as well. So I feel like you're finding that balance again, you know, some for your work and your projects and then some for the things that you really just enjoy doing, like you just have this unexplainable thing that you enjoy doing. The three of wands, mind, body and soul is finding that balance. A death card. This is the situation, sweethearts, that you've, you've said goodbye to something. You just have and you had to. Okay, you just had to. Uh, it was just... I even bringing it up again, I just get this major pain in the heart shock and you can't keep putting yourself through that pain. You just cannot. Nobody wants that for you. Nobody. You know? Hold up, guys. Now the battery's gone low. I've been having so many issues with technology lately. Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. The wheel has spun. It's the bit, It's the ending of something because this love of who you are, it's there and you've been very patient and it's coming through. This is luck again. Double confirmation of luck, guys. A very lucky energy for you, Capricorn. Wow. It's like that, is it? Six of Swords. You're walking away from the situation. You're saying goodbye to the past and you're looking at the horizon. That's exactly what's going on here. And you've been victorious in doing this. <laughs> For some of you, you were victorious and you sort of, you know, took it, you know, you're like, okay, I can see what I have to do here, what I'm being asked to do. And for some of you, spirits like <laughs> pushed you into this and you're like, wait, wait. But now you can see. Now in retrospect, you can see because now the luck is coming in for you. Knight of Wands, spark of inspiration and passion and inner strength. Your creativity has returned. There's no blocks in your creativity anymore, Capricorn. You're powerful. There's so much luck. Like literally, I'm seeing this orb of luck around here. The Ace of Cups. This is your brand new beginning, Capricorn. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> I feel like, oh my God, do you realize how good this is? Capricorn, this is amazing. Lucky you. This brand new beginning, it's just one that instills your spirit, your heart, your soul. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel alive. It makes you feel like yourself to be able to express your emotions fully. Oh my gosh, you have, you feel so abundant in all areas that it's like you can't, I can hear it, spirit as well. Somebody also feels very passionate towards you. It's a brand new beginning in creativity. Knight of Cups. Okay, guys, amazing. This is the person that's very passionate towards you. <laughs> okay, there's this, this cup energy. It's like they can't explain it and they're just trying to work out what it is. All, it, all they know is their emotion, their passion's being drawn towards you. It's, it's because spirits gr blessed you, Capricorn. Spirits granted you 
the reminder of who you are. You know, it's like spirit's done it, but you've done it, Capricorn. You have. Look, his hands. It's like there's so much power in you. This strength. This, you had so much patience, but you were victorious. You regained balance. You are so, oh my gosh. Wow. Let's draw from the passion deck. Oh my gosh. Also, actually, I just want to get, guys, I think I've explained. Did you see what happened to this deck? <laughs> it, got, it got waterfied. So I, it's like an accordion now. Okay, but I wanted to draw, um, actually I want to draw one dragon guide and then we'll do the passion deck. <laughs> also guys, it's just you. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, it's like you just owning your own dream, your own life, your own power, your own energy, your own everything. Just, oh, it's just gorgeous. Wow, okay, you got two dragons. Aquamarine dragon from Neptune to dream. It says, enables you to access your deepest soul wisdom. Spirituality and wisdom are available to you. Develop your psychic abilities and receive ineffable soul knowledge. Okay, so you might be having really amazing dreams. There's an ant on me, guys. Wants to. <laughs> and you got the earth and fire dragon. Oh my god. Ugh. I don't know why, but my heart is it's just like... <laughs> I'm like, why? <laughs> Works with you to clear the fifth dimensional ley lines. It is time for service. When you give, you receive. You can't help but give because you're feeling just so alive with universe and cosmic knowledge and love and zest for life here. You know, this is that dreamy energy that you're grounding with passion. All right, let's get into the passion cards. Story for Capricorn. <sighs> taking time for meditation and guys I shared this on my TikTok it's <laughs> just a second ago it's really important because at this time there's sort of like this it's quite a paramount time in history but it's really important when you first wake up in the morning hopefully you've got a, a spiritual practice already and and this is no, not news for you but what you want to do is you know do not reach for your phone you probably are like the rest of humanity and you're addicted to like technology <laughs> don't be hard on yourself if you are because most people are but um, what I'm saying is don't just reach for your phone reach for a crystal or go into meditation or prayer for at least the first five minutes when you wake up take that five minutes for yourself to go into solitude or to pray to God the cosmos the universe it's such an impact it's, it's such an important time a paramount time to set your day right in alignment with light source spirit it will re help you regain focus it will call back your energy it will amplify your energy it will make immense difference in your health and well-being every morning just when you get that urge to go do something or reach for the phone just nope just connect to the peace of that moment to your heart or the best thing that I love to do guys is like this here's a rose quartz crystal it's the stone of universal love this is a little smiley face moon I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera but this is yeah the stone of universal love and you want to just hold that crystal or place it on a part of your body if you feel any pain or tension just sit the crystal there and just breathe guys just give yourself five minutes to breathe sweethearts so you're going to notice such an immense difference okay it's going to be just beautiful for you in all areas of life there's the Wheel of Fortune for you again. Oh no, it's the World card. Okay, so yep, new beginning. Absolutely. It's like you here just dreaming, you know? Just dreaming about that new beginning. Oh my gosh, new beginning in love. Allow yourself to dream. Allow yourself to align to the frequency of light when it's there. That's what we've been talking about. It's what life's all about. Grab onto that joy because, you know, when it's there, it's like it just, it heals, it uplifts, and it doesn't just help you, it helps the rest of humanity. There's been so many scientific studies done to show that, you know, conscious collective, it's like one person, it's like this information, it's it's received by all. So you're doing, you're doing humanity a great gift by celebrating your love and joy, Capricorn. You're saving the world, truly. Not everyone's here in this energy, Capricorn, so take it when, it when it's here, when this love and joy is yours, live it. Knight of Pentacles, it's an offer. It's something that feels magical. 
It's just, it's, it's beautiful, mysterious. It's, it's promising. It's delicious. It's just enjoying your life, enjoying the moment, every sacred moment. You are going on a new journey. This is the full card transformation, brand new beginnings. You're headed in the right direction. My gosh, a spirit by your side, like right there. And it's powerful and passionate. This isn't just any new beginning, Capricorn. This is one that you know that you're stronger than you've ever been before. You're more you than you've ever been before. You've been victorious. And now the blessings are coming in for you. Are they ever, Queen of Pentacles, abundant in all areas of life? Wow, Are you kidding me? <laughs> you know, people, they want to help you, Capricorn. They're mesmerized by you. It's like they just want to be around you and your energy, seriously. A lot of offers for like work offers, collaborations, creative ideas as well. People want to help you. Don't be afraid to reach out and ask for that assistance that you need. gorgeous you're gonna see all areas of your life start to grow because you're connected to this frequency of love because you had the strength and the and the power to do so the nine of wands okay this is wanting to work for something that matters this is a conscious connection heart to heart conversations ones that might be difficult but they are worth it and you are not afraid to put in the hard work capricorn if anyone can do that it's you it's like you're finally meeting, you know, someone that is worthy of your time, of all that you put in, because they're also doing the work. The Queen of Swords, protecting your heart, cleansing, protecting your energy. This is saying goodbye to energies that did not serve. You know, it's like loving from across the street. You know, it's like that unconditional love, having gratitude for all creation, having gratitude for all connections that were. Because they just allowed you to see more of who you are. They allowed you to stand more in your power, your beauty. They allowed you to experience more of life. And as you become more and more you, the more divine you are. You are so powerful. Two queen divine feminine energy showing up here, Capricorn, with your new beginning and the full card. This is adventure. And two nines now. Now we've got the nine of cups of wish fulfillment. All your dreams and wishes coming true. Because you put in the work. This is a divine union. Like, wow. Bless, this is very exciting. Very exciting for you. Let's get one more card here. Mind, body, and soul. It's love. It's true love. <laughs> oh, wow. This is sort of one of those moments you gotta just uh, sit back and say, life, eh? <laughs> life. It's pretty, pretty, pretty blooming beautiful. <laughs> I love you so much, Capricorn. I hope this reading helped in some way. This is really gorgeous. <laughs> Bask in the glory of all that you are, Capricorn. You're amazing. Let's draw you one more card here, my loves. Well, let's draw a crystal card because the crystal healing vibes are coming through strong. Straight up, calcite, standing in your power, okay? And doing things that you enjoy. You like, can hold a calcite crystal. This is about the solar plexus, allowing yourself to connect to the light. I wanna draw you an earth oracle as well to ground this energy. A sacred oracle, collaborative dreaming, conscious connections. That's what this reading was all about. Eight, two, eight, and two, inner trust. Oh, they all come. <laughs> all of the cards came out here. What do you feel? Come to life and visions of life beyond death. You're so connected to the spiritual realm. Okay, this is your 
inner knowing, your trust, your spirit guides with you. There's such a beauty and a gratitude for life and all of its creations when you connect to this power of all that you are. Love is the highest power, the highest frequency on this planet. And no one, no one can ever take that from you, Capricorn. Not ever. It's not possible. You're coming to life. You're creating your dream by how you feel. I'm loving this orange here. It's like the calcite, right? What you enjoy, what's delicious to you. Orange is about life, vitality, sexuality, creativity. And you're dreaming. I love this conscious connection too. And inner trust. Bless you, Capricorn. So much love and light. And check out the crystals in the crystal store. Look at baby Yoda. He's warming his hands up here with the candlelight. <laughs> So much love, Capricorn. I'll see you, sweetheart, soon. Ciao for now. Thank you so much for being here. I love you, Capricorn. Bye.